Okay, you go. go. Ahead, More intriguing up. game. It's Buffalo, not a, KC, or Dallas, Philly? It's not even close, man. I mean, you talk about Dallas and Philly. That's the undercard. You talk about the main event, the heavyweight fight, the two teams that we believe we wouldn't be surprised if either one of them won the Super Bowl. It's Kansas City and the Buffalo Bills. Featured the two of the best quarterbacks in their prime in the game. And this is the rematch. You talk about the, the, heart, the, the disheartening loss. What did they do? They went out and they got the quarterback whisper. They got a closer. They went out and got a closer. The Buffalo Bills have built this team to beat the Kansas City Chiefs. They don't care nothing about their division. They know that's barbecue chicken. But they know they had to go out and they had to get an answer to Patrick Mahomes and get closers. And Von Miller is the best closer in the game. I had Devin Singletary on my show. This is a big game for them. This is a game where he's going to loom large because you look at that Kansas City pass defense, it's atrocious. But they're going to have to run the ball. Patrick Mahomes is, 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 is listen, really surprised me with getting what he got out of Valdez Scanley, what he's getting out of Juju Smith-Schuster, Travis Kelsey last week, four touchdowns. But, man, that secondary got lit up. And I tell you what, Josh Allen looks, looks like he's about to eat. Okay, Marcus, you could go, but not before – we tell Bar Scott, I need you to pull your tie a little oh, okay. bit to the right. My little wings are not, right. you know what I'm saying? Just pull the tie a little bit to the right. Just like, we we Gucci? Go. We there, go. You good. You did. You did. You did. You did. To the right. To the right. What, 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 there you go. All right. You got it. You got it. I'm a little crooked. I'm a little crooked. I'm a little crooked. I'm just helping you out. I'm just helping you out. Go ahead, Swagger. We're just trying to make your crooked places straight. Let's go ahead, Swagger. I'm just helping the brother out. That's all. I'm just looking out for my brother. That's all. Go ahead, man. Bart say, Bart, Bart say my tie is a representation of me. We both Absolutely. crooked, man. Symbolism. Uh, listen, like listen, listen, listen. It's, it's, it's Dallas Philly. That way. I'm serious. It's Dallas, 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 Dallas Philly. Philly. Oh, my bad, Molly. No, it's it's Dallas good. Philly. That's the most, that's the most yes. intriguing matchup because we didn't expect the Cowboys to be here, number one. We didn't expect them to be 4-1. and one. I left them for dead like everybody else when Dak Prescott got hurt. We're trying to figure out if the Eagles are, are like the best team in the NFC as opposed to being the best team in the NFC East. And now this has become a conversation because of what Dallas has been able to do and what that defense, more importantly, has been able to do. This is gr really good offense, a position where we think Jalen Hurts is against a defense where we know can be dominant at times and has given offenses the most problems as any other defense in the league outside of the San Francisco 49ers. So, I, look, the Kansas City Chiefs and Buffalo Bills, we expected them to be what they are. We, expected, we expect to see them play again somewhere down the road. But when you get to week five or six, and you're thinking about the Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles for first place in the NFC East, and how we've talked about the Philadelphia Eagles, and how Dallas has been left for dead, this is the most intriguing matchup. And by the way, Ain't this first take? Trust and believe, Bart Scott. Monday, <laughs> regardless of what happens between Philly and Dallas, Monday, Stephen A. Smith will be on TV with Michael Irvin, and people will leave the shows that they are watching to watch these two gentlemen talk about the Dallas Cowboys and the Philadelphia Eagles and not the Kansas City Chiefs and the Buffalo Bills. That would this be is the That's most true. intriguing matchup. And well, Dallas I, I, has made it that way. You know, and, and, you know, you bring that up. I just want you to know, I told you I wasn't going to the game without a suite. <laughs> you know, I, I, without security. I, I have, and well, I always got security. You ain't seen my boy Juvie and, and you know, and a couple cats that I have. I mean, I'm not Juvie. Worried. I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean <laughs> Juvie look like a straight he, beat he's, dog. He's a linebacker what? and a safety all rolled up in the one. I'm good, okay? Yes, sir. And he ain't the only one. Oh he's just, gosh, the, unarm like he's just the unarmed him. one I got with me, not the others. But here's the deal, y'all. I was supposed to have a suite. You know, because this is a big game. I ain't asked for a suite of Kansas City and Buffalo. <laughs> See, I would come playoff time. It's the regular season. So in the regular season, because uh, Swagoo said it best, we didn't expect this. Mm -hmm. We didn't expect the Cowboys to be this relevant. We certainly didn't expect the Philadelphia Eagles to be the only undefeated team in the National Football League. And so the fact that that's transpired, and it's at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia where fly Eagles fly, the brothers and sisters going to show up. We understand how big time it is. Now, me personally, I mean, I'm having, I got a lot going on, so it's difficult for me to get to that suite, but I do have one. I do have one. I do have one for this game Sunday yeah. night. Let the I hope I show. have time. You know, but I mean, if, I mean, I do got to be on the air Monday morning. And so, you know, I can't, you know, I mean, it, it, it's, it's going to be a challenge for me mm -hmm. to try to get down there. I'll see what I can do. Yeah. In the end, it's to 
Dallas, Philly. It ain't the Kansas City, Buffalo. And, Bart, I get where you're coming from in all seriousness. Here's the issue. Josh Allen has proven to be so great. Yeah. Patrick Mahomes has proven to be so great. The expectations for Kansas City, Buffalo is so great that it's a collision course that won't measure up to snuff unless they meet for an AFC championship game. Like you're almost praying yeah. that the seedings praying, align yeah. in such a fashion yeah. that once the playoffs begin, they don't have to face each other unless it's in the AFC championship game. That's what everybody yeah. – it, it would be a huge disappointment if the seedings and the pairings are, are, were conducted in such – or orchestrated in such a fashion that you see them before that AFC yeah. championship game. As big as the regular season matchup is, and I'm not denying that, the fact is, is that with Philly and Dallas, it's far more intriguing yeah. because you didn't expect either of them to be in this position. The heated rivals, it's the NFC East, it's the Cowboys. The bottom line is this is what it's all about. We'll see come playoff time, Buffalo and Kansas City. That'll be big then. Not right now. See, but this is why this game is so much more important. It's going to have it a playoff atmosphere. The last two years, Buffalo has lost to Kansas City. Mm -hmm. In Kansas City. Right. This is game that's about the seeding to make sure that Buffalo can host, right? Because they. Well, understand. we're not saying it's not a big game, yeah, no. But they understand that's how. But we're saying it's not a is. bigger game than the one you you looking forward yeah. to most, Philly, and and then we talk about seedings yeah. with those yeah. two. With Philly and and Dallas is something extra because okay, who's going to be relevant now? Who's real? Yeah. Who's fake? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Oh, like and especially in Philadelphia's part, because Dak, Dak Prescott ain't playing this Sunday. If Dak was playing this Sunday, that would be applicable to the Cowboys as well. If Philadelphia lose to Cooper Rush, yeah. all the hype that yeah. we've been giving them comes crashing back down to earth. All right, they all right. But we'll just, find out. They better not lose. Look, they better not lose yeah. to Cooper Rush. But, but I'm just saying this is the ABA versus the NBA. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.